Hey friends, I just am heartbroken to see the division and the anger that's being taken out on each other online right now. And I just wanted to take a moment to remind you as Jesus followers, you are the light of the world. That means that the world is watching you. They're watching you and I, and it says that they will know us by our love. So the question is, are they seeing love in the way we treat each other? And I want to encourage you, you know, the tongue has the power of life and death, as it says in the scriptures. And I don't think that just means the tongue. I think that that also means my tongue and my phone and my keyboard. And we have the opportunity to throw water on the fire or gasoline with our tongue and our communications. James chapter 1 says, be slow to speak quick to listen, and slow to become angry, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. And there are things that we should be angry about, but the way that we deal with that doesn't mean that we get to aim it at other people and lash out at other people and hurt other people. It says in Ephesians, in your anger, do not sin. And so if you are angry, let's pray. Let's come together and let's not be divided because there's a real enemy right now Hear me, there's a real spiritual enemy that wants to divide the church. He wants to divide our nation, and he seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. But we know that Jesus came that we would have life, and he prayed that we would be one as the Father is one. So let's be one. Let's pray. Before we speak, let's ask three questions. Does it need to be said? Number one. Number two, does it need to be said by me? And number three, does it need to be said by me right now? And if the answer is yes, then let's say it in love. But if it doesn't need to be said, it doesn't need to be said by me, it doesn't need to be said by me right now, maybe it doesn't need to be said. So I want to encourage you, let's listen, let's love, and let's lead.